And new at 5.30, the family of a senior citizen found dead in the dumpster behind the nursing home where he lived while they filed a lawsuit now. They're accusing the nursing home of negligence. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig live outside that nursing home now at the center of this case. Kim. Yes, Curtis and Glenda, Carlos Parker says she picked St. Francis Nursing Center here for her uncle because of his health issues and his tendency to wander. She thought he'd be safe here and she believes his health combined with the cold is what led to his unimaginable suffering in a dumpster before dying. This is very just bizarre to say the least. It's just bizarre. And I don't have any, I, we can't even fathom how, why, how, how in the world he ended up in a dumpster behind the nursing home now. Carlos Parker and other loved ones of 73-year-old Ralph Ford are devastated. Last week, the retired railroad worker was found dead in this dumpster behind the nursing home where he lived on Detroit's east side. And in a lawsuit filed today, attorneys for Ford's family point the blame for his death at the St. Francis Nursing Center, accusing them of being negligent, careless, and reckless. It's just unbelievable. It's, I it mean, I could not have... If someone would have told me that when he got admitted to that facility, that almost three years later that he was found dead in that dumpster, I would never have believed it. You couldn't fail a family worse than this facility failed this family. You couldn't fail a family worse than this state failed this family, right? This facility had a long list, over not over weeks or months, but over years, of significant compliance issues. Records show Bradley Malley as the president and owner of the St. Francis Nursing Center. He avoided our calls last week and we were unable to contact him at his home here in Bloomfield Hills. But soon he'll have to answer to attorney Mark Bernstein, who says complaints with the state of Michigan should have sounded the alarm that the nursing home was failing to take appropriate care of its residents. Rough handling by AIDS, sexual advances by AIDS, failure to monitor levels of medication, on and on and on, failure to conduct thorough investigation of other complaints. This place was a rogue facility that should not be open. And late this afternoon, a spokesman for the nursing home sent a statement saying they feel terrible about Mr. Ford and that they are working with local and state officials on the investigation and cannot comment any further. We will certainly keep you updated. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thanks so much.